Welcome, folks, one and all, to Let's Play Deus Ex The Fall. Released in 2013 for iOS devices, and many years later, it was released for Android devices and Windows computers. Developed by N-Fusion Interactive and published by Square Enix, Deus Ex The Fall is a first-person shooter with role-playing and stealth elements, very much like Deus Ex Human Revolution. This game takes place in the same year in the timeline as Deus Ex Human Revolution does, and it follows the characters of this story as they unravel various conspiracies and try to undo the nefarious activities of shadowy powers in the background of the world's activities. There was meant to be more stories released in this series, more parts that would be added on one at a time. If you're waiting for that additional content, the story will continue. Stay tuned for updates. I have some bad news for you if you've been waiting five years for an update to a Deus Ex The Fall story. I don't think there'll ever be one. While this game was moderately well received on iOS devices when it came out, when it was released for PCs a year later, it was critically panned for many reasons. The main one being that it was perceived as a lazy mobile port when nothing was changed to improve it on the PC, with all of the things that were on the uh, mobile game that they didn't like on PC remaining, like the ability to buy things directly without actually finding them in the game. You could just buy items on the mobile version, and as far as I know, that feature is still here in the PC version. I don't know exactly how it functions, because I haven't played this game beyond looking at the introductory cutscene and doing a few sound checks. This is a game that I am not going to be judging by comparing it to Deus Ex Human Revolution. I'm going to be judging it on its own merits, and giving Deus Ex The Fall the chance to impress me. I'm going to see if it can pull me into its story, get me engaged with the characters, and if it is enjoyable to play. Although I will say one thing before I start, and that is that uh, I had to disable my internet connection to get this game to even work. This game originally did work when I had the internet uh, enabled, but now, when I'm coming to record it, it gets the 0% of uh, downloading the assets, the assets that I don't think it actually needs to download, and then it freezes. The only way to get it to actually work, for me, was to disable the internet connection completely, then load the game up, and it suddenly went, Oh, I can find these assets now, and it downloaded the assets that it couldn't possibly download, because the internet wasn't working, and then it works. And I can enable the internet again. It is one minor negative mark against the game before we've even started. We're less hitting the ground running and more we've tripped up starting line because we tied our shoelaces together, but we're going to undo those shoelaces and see if we can make a sprint to recoup lost time. I'm going to let the introductory cutscene play. It is quite lengthy, and it does its best to explain the characters that we're going to be playing as, the setting that this game has, and what is going on and then I will comment on that cutscene afterwards. Let us delve into the world of the fall, and see if we do in fact fall into despair, or rise up in joy at the game being fun. Let us find out if you are fun. Let's go. Are we ready to begin? We've established the candidate firm as a viable proxy. Public interest is strong, market confidence is high. I've spoken with my people in New York. Our ghost will be ready to activate when the moment comes. And the research? The trials are complete, yes? We're close, but we need more time. Explain. The tests have yielded excellent results during this phase, but the effects vary. With more time, we can ensure the mechanism will work exactly as required and told us the latest batch was ready for release. All of our plans depend on your provision. Delays are unacceptable. To get the data we require, the testing regimen will need to be increased. We can see to that in Panama. You'll have what you want. Are we at risk? Our new recruit is ready, but he's unstable. And the scientist? Under control. He'll do what he's told. What about the two that got away? Missing. Presumed dead. They interfered in Geneva. That cannot happen again. If they come out of hiding, I'll kill them myself. We 
Returning now to our main story. The global shortage of neuropazine is making life difficult for augmented people everywhere. Pharmaceutical giant Versalife, sole manufacturer of the anti-rejection drug, has suffered multiple setbacks in recent months, slowing the company's ability to meet demand. Anna, what's wrong? You're unsteady. I'm fine. As good as can be expected. Are you skipping your meds? I know you're not sleeping. Come on, talk to me. It doesn't matter. The clock is ticking, Ben. You know they're out there looking for us. And it's only a matter of time before he finds out where we're hiding. He won't find us here. We can't just sit here waiting. If we had enough information, proof of what they're doing, we could expose them. Conspiracies thrive in the darkness. But if we could shine a light on them, so bright it would make it impossible for them to operate. Two against the Illuminati. You'll never expose the tyrants. They just cover their lies with more lies. They work in the shadows, it's what they're good at. I know, because I used to be one of them. The only way to stop them is to wipe them out. What happened to you, Ben? Before Geneva? What was it like to be a tyrant? What did you see? Tell me about him. I couldn't tell where the man ended and the machine began. His name is Jaron Namir, commander of the tyrants, a covert black ops unit. I was working for the Bell Tower PMC. Namir rescued me from a mission that went bad. Operation Rainbird, right in the heart of the Australian Civil War. I lost my entire team out there. We were shot down. Only two of us survived the crash, me and Sam. Corporal Sam Duarte. But Sam died before they came. I had nowhere else to go. Namir recruited me. My first mission with the tyrants was in Moscow. The target was a Russian minister. They said he was in bed with a cyber warfare hacker group. They said he was the one responsible for Operation Rainbird. Namir gave me a chance for revenge. for the deaths of your former team. You are to terminate him with extreme prejudice. For Sam and the others. All call signs, check in. This is blue, ready to roll. Gray here, let's go. White, I'm already in position. Red, follow me. Go now. From this moment on, use code names and sub-vocal communication only. Got it! You can move in any direction by using the W, A, S, and D keys. You can hold the shift key to walk. I have to say that you sound like you really don't want to be doing that. You could have put a little bit less effort into uh, that tutorial uh, description, but that would have taken some effort. So it's the standard movement keys. I hope you like conspiracies, because we're already being exposed to them, and we haven't even begun the game yet. The introductory cutscene laid them on pretty thick. And also, I hope you like the colour orange, because this game has a lot of the colour orange. We could press tab to learn more, but we're not going to, as we're going to move Ben closer to our colleague here. We have a mission. Kill someone. Who wants to bet that there's something going on here, and we really shouldn't be killing this person? Let's go. Red, blue, secure the roof. Check for stragglers. Gray, with me. Okay, let's go. Can I move past you? No, I have to wait for you to very slowly move. It's okay, it's not like we're in a rush or anything. It's not like any guards can come from behind us and surprise us. Oh, now you're going to run. Okay. Get into cover. Here's someone colders and your mother's ass out here. Step right. Use the mouse to align the crosshair with your enemies. Use the left mouse button to fire your weapon when an enemy is inside your crosshair for an accurate shot. 
Very well, person that really doesn't want to give me that tutorial. You're like a little girl. And what does it even mean? It means what you think it means. So we need to knock out these people. There are three of them. They're walking around in a very predictable pattern. Let us see if we can take them out. Let's not do so when they're right next to each other. Patience. I don't want to learn more. I just want to wait for them to move. Let's hope they don't spot us. We weren't exactly subtle with our uh, arrival here. So left click and... Ah! Excellent. You're going to collapse? Bingo! One down. You should have spotted him and so should you. You did! But you don't know where I am. So we're just going to wait and very stealthily take you out. Did he just disappear? He faded into orange triangles. Such is the fate of all guards here. Hmm. Well, I guess it was nothing. No, wait, it might have been something. Let's get you. Uh, Aha! Oh no! My colleague has also been taken out! Where was that sniper shooting from? Up here, maybe? I've got some bad news for you. You're also about to be knocked unconscious. Become triangles! W and spacebar simultaneously to vault over cover. Alright. Let's do that. This would actually be quite impressive if it was, uh... First seen on phones. That last just... bloke was Bradford, Russian Mafia. They all are. Keep up. I am. You can perform a takedown by approaching an enemy and using the Q key. You have the choice of performing a noisy lethal hold Q or a silent non-lethal press Q takedown. Approach an enemy in front of you while crouched and eliminate them silently by using a non-lethal takedown. The rest of their squad will not be alerted. Okay, person who doesn't want to give me these tutorials, let's go. So, crouching... I'm sure we'll be told what crouching is. Oh, we're automatically crouching! Let's do a quiet one. Aha! You have been knocked unconscious! Turn into orange triangles and squares! I think that person might be dead. Maybe. You know we're killing these people, right? Where's Red? Oh, she's around. Great! Deny their communications. You can interact with objects in the world by placing your crosshair on them and pressing the E key. Got it. Everything that can be used has a pop-up which will tell you what the object is. Some objects are also destructible and some can be picked up or moved. Makes sense. You're not even going to look at me, are you? Oh no! You did turn slightly! Let's go and interact with the thing we need to. This thing here! Done. Target comms are dead. Ready. Alright. Get that hatch off. You're gonna pull it off, aren't you? Insertion. Go! Those augmentations are quite good. Let's go in. We could use control to crouch as well, apparently. Let's go. Choice is mine, eh? Or orange. To equip a weapon, you must first select a quick slot to assign the weapon to. Okay. This one. Any weapons you own that aren't already equipped will flash. Try selecting the combat rifle to assign it to your first quick slot. This one here, I imagine? No, this one. Now that you've assigned the combat rifle to a quick slot, return to the game and equip it. Okay. I will do Once that. Once a weapon has been assigned to a quick slot, you can hold down the H key to roll out your available quick slots. Use the mouse scroll wheel to select a quick slot. You know, you sounded like you didn't care at the very beginning. You're sounding like you progressively care even less as these tutorials are going on. I wonder if this was rushed in quickly. So, we press H. Ah, we can select that. Okay. So, are we now using this? I think we might be. Let's open the door. And look around for anything. Is there a conspiracy in this? No. Use your radar to detect enemies. You mean that person there? I think there's an enemy over there. Oh yes, one foe. I've got company. 
go tactical. Eliminate all threats. I was thinking of going non-tactical and getting killed, but I don't think the game will let me do that. Okay. Let's see if I can take care of you. You're over there. You're going to walk towards me. Can I just shoot you? I'd rather not. Oh, you're going to walk over there. Okay. I'm going to try and be stealthy here. And take you out. You're going to walk the other way now? His radar's really good. It's really good. Okay. Sneakily does it. Your perception of me is terrible. Aha! You really should have seen me. But either way, we were victorious. Ooh, we could take a pistol. I will. Marvelous. I will take an additional gun. All guns are good in this game. Right, use the door. There's something here. An energy en cells are consumed when you perform takedowns or use your augmentation abilities. Partially used energy cells will regenerate themselves automatically over time. To instantly refill an energy cell, you can consume Cyberboost energy bars. Cyberboost energy bars for all your augmented needs. Do I want to use that? No, not really. I think I'm okay. As they said, it would uh, regenerate over time, so let's just... Uh... You can utilize cover objects in the world to evade danger. Enter cover on the wall ahead of you by approaching it and pressing the right mouse button. Then transfer between cover objects on your left to avoid the turret. I imagine we cannot destroy that turret. Also, weird designs on the Proceed. cover. And stay alert. Oh, I will. Don't worry. I will. So we need to get to that door. And I imagine doing something uh, involving attacking that turret is a poor idea. Right. Use the A key to move left using cover. Got it. We crouch. If you move to the edge of a cover object, you can silently dive to an adjacent piece of cover by pressing the space bar. You can move around the cover by holding the space bar. All right. Are we still in cover? We are in cover now. That is the worst turret I've ever seen. That turret should be shooting us by now. Our head is clearly visible. The turret is like... I cannot see all of his body, therefore I cannot shoot. Let us try and roll deftly to cover. If you don't try to shoot me as we're doing this, you're a terrible turret. Oh, you tried. You tried. Didn't quite work out for you. So, we want to go over there now, don't we? Right, now we're facing this way, we can roll this way. I will evade thee! And we evaded thee. You really should have shot first. But, we can now do this, and I'm pretty sure we're safe. We are pretty safe now. You can open a locked door by hacking its security terminal. Locked doors often provide alternate routes to your goal. Okay. You can complete a hack by capturing nodes and disabling the system's security measures. I hope you're going to tell me this in more detail when we hack. It is time to become a hacker. Select the hack button on the keypad to attempt to bypass the security on the door. Are you sure the code isn't 1, 2, 3, 4? It probably isn't. Select the hack button to begin hacking the terminal. Got it. When hacking, your goal is to take control of a device's registries to bypass the hacking system. Your starting point is this blue I.O. port. Okay. Traveling from node to node is accomplished by using unidirectional or bidirectional bridges. Select the directory node nearest your I.O. port to open a selection wheel. Who wants to bet that I'm going to forget all of this by the time we get to the next hacking attempt? The selection wheel contains programs that can be used against the selected node. Select the Capture Program button to travel across the bidirectional bridge and capture the directory node. I remember the original Deus Ex's hacking. It was much simpler. You pressed a button, and then it happened. Each time you capture a node, there is a chance the network will detect your presence. The higher the node rating, the higher the chance the network will detect your presence. Okay, makes sense. If you are detected, the network will activate a subroutine that will try to capture your I.O. port and boot you out of the system. Okay. Now that you have captured the directory node, you have access to the adjacent registry. Select the registry and open the selection wheel. Got it. 
If you can capture the registry before the subroutine captures your I.O. port, you will have successfully bypassed the security system. Select the Capture Program button to capture the registry. Got it. Access granted. Excellent. User credentials decrypted, device unlocked. We're in. The door beyond leads to mystery, and metal, and more orange. Also, anything over here? No. Worth checking. Secrets can be everywhere. No conspiracy pigeon here. Not that we can see. And when we come back, folks, we will go through this door, find the mysteries that lie within, and maybe, just maybe, we'll figure out what's going on here. It's pretty much inevitable that we'll figure out what's going on here. The only question is, how many conspiracies will we reveal by doing so? My guess, at least two. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.